You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Ball. So what is up, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast viewers on YouTube? This is OBB here, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome, guys, to the first episode of the 2019 edition of What's in Stores. So I believe this is, what, like number five or number six. If you guys remember the last time I did a What's in Stores video, I uh, had some pretty bad memories, which was, you know, the dreadful and abysmal final wave of 2018 wave 12 which i'm glad you guys enjoy that rant review or well the rant review as course as well so if line up does any more screw-ups i mean heck <laughs> i guess you guys know we're gonna have a rant <laughs> sooner or later but um we do um i'm here outside of my walmart like usual and it's pretty packed it is a saturday night i just got done watching the arca series and i decided hey let's go check out see if wave one's here guys so um yeah i mean i'm looking forward to see what we got from wave one i'm planning to get hopefully all of the die cast maybe even get the liquid color car if i can um i want to get at least all of the uh, exclusives well i don't know i think i'm going to pass on the alex bowman uh nationwide children's hospital car and the jimmy john's uh kicking ranch car from kevin harvick but other than that if i can find the rest of the other die cast then that'd be awesome so enough of me talking without further ado let's go ahead and see what's in stores at walmart Alrighty guys, I just got back from Walmart and luckily I got some great news for you guys. We got some Wave 1. Now there were some cars I did miss, but you guys will probably know once I go through them. But um, yeah, so let's see what we got in this bag and let's see what cars we got for Wave 1. And more importantly, which ones I picked up. So going down right here, we're going to be looking at... Ooh, this is a nice one. We got the Paul Menard. Dare I say it, I mean... <laughs> I'm probably going to get hard for Menard on this car. <laughs> we got Paul Menard, some 21 Ford Motorcraft, Ford Fusion. And as you see right there, that 21 is very shiny. Too bad the 21 doesn't look as shiny on that little plastic hood, but uh, really, really nice looking car. Um, great Kale Yarbrough throwback that we got. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to compare it to this car. As it uh, looks like someone's siren is right. Just, uh, <laughs> just uh, interrupted my review. <laughs> Shut up now. Oh man, maybe they just got excited for being hard for Bernard as well. Next up, we got another John Storback, and it is the Rick Car uh, uh, Corelli throwback scheme of that Jones boy, Eric Jones, in the number 20 Sport Clips Toyota Camry. So really nice looking throwback. I mean, this car kind of reminds me of like a, of a baseball kind of. I mean, doesn't it a little bit? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe I don't know. I mean, I know this paint scheme is supposed to represent Rick. Uh, Rick Corelli's, um, which ironically is a spotter, by the way, supposed to represent his Arca, uh, actually not his Arca car, his uh, Remax car, Remax truck, sorry. Look at me. This is why I don't do wave reviews, guys, <laughs> or wave unveils. I mean, could you imagine if I <laughs> if I did that for Lionel? I would screw those up so badly. <laughs> but um, really nice looking uh, throwback that we got. So that's two throwbacks. Can we go for the other two? Let's see. 
All right, going down right here, we got yet another Johnson throwback. It is Bubba Wallace's STP Blue car. Technically, this is the car that he ran during qualifying and the practice sessions. And then they just changed it <laughs> during race day, which is so freaking odd. But you got to love the all petty blue on this car. Very, very nice looking car. Ah, uh, man, just, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm really surprised that uh, I was able to find this. I thought this was going to be a hot seller, but I got one of each, but you can tell by that uh, video <laughs> that we just did of what was inside Walmart. All right, this is not a John's throwback car, but uh, I, ha I was a 50-50 chance of getting this car, but after looking at it in person, I kind of like it. It's Austin Dillon's Dow Veteran Salutes car. Really nice looking car. This car, just like the Dow car from 2018, almost kind of, it has like two different finishes on it. Well, it, it, it kind of gives the illusion that this car has texture, how I got to put it. But we'll probably see more when I do the diecast reviews, but this was a car that was canceled. So really nice looking car. I mean, we don't really see that many silver patriotic paint schemes. So this one really goes well out very nicely. And there's a, <laughs> there's a three for Dale. <laughs> All right, we got a couple more. I think I got like two more to show you guys. Well, actually, no, I got the one and last card that I got, so I didn't got all of them, but it is yet another Don's throwback card. It is my man, Clint Boyer. Well, I don't know why I said my man, but, you know, one of the best personalities that we got in NASCAR. Really funny, dude. Clint Boyer's number 14, Ned Jarrett, Don's throwback. I mean, Clint Boyer, once again, impresses me with another Don's throwback. Just amazing looking car. Another one that's definitely, definitely stand out in the collection. So, I mean, yeah, guys. Uh, so, as you guys saw in the video, uh, I did also saw the Alex Bowman Nationwide Children's Hospital car. But I'm not a big fan of that paint scheme. Even though we ran a Watkins Glen, <laughs> which is, you know, the track that's really close to me. I just don't like it at all. So, uh, and the other three cars that I, that I was unable to find in this wave. Maybe someone already got it or they didn't, stay, they didn't stock in the shelves yet. No, I did not find the liquid color car from Chase Elliott's first um, first win, and also his first win diecast as well, the standard version, and also the uh, Kevin Harvick, uh, Jimmy John's Kick and Ranch. Not planning on getting that car, even if it was available in stock, but it wasn't. And the best throwback that they didn't have was the Shell Pennzoil Logano throwback. They didn't have that, but you know, I'm going to keep going on these wave hunts, and hopefully I'll find some more. But um, guys, still got a lot of cool diecast reviews uh, to uh, to do with these. So, I mean, heck guys, uh, what can I say as, uh, huh, there goes Bubba. <laughs> I'm trying to carry all these die casts in my hands but i mean even though we didn't find all the waves i gotta i mean well i didn't find all the cars in the waves i gotta say not bad so far not bad so i mean i guess you could say it's a great way to start off the 2019 die cast season but uh and feel free to comment below if you guys uh have any suggestions of what cars you guys want me to review first in this wave possibly it's gonna be the throwbacks but i will continue hunting those uh two other cars the uh, chase elliott uh Watkins Glen win and the joe Logano uh shell throwback i'll probably give you guys an update on instagram but um with that in mind guys thank you guys so much for watching this what's in stores video and i'm um, hoping we're gonna have a lot more and i will uh catch you guys on another what's in stores video for wave two